everyone, welcome to the Phoebe Way. Today's topic is how Germany has changed me. How Germany has changed me in the past, what, 16 years? I grew up partly in Germany. I've had most of my adult life in Germany, parts of my childhood, most of my, all of my adult life actually in Germany. And a lot of things about me, when I compare myself to my other Ghanaian friends, my other Ghanaian family members, my cousins, my age group, I realize that I am different and let me just tell you how the things that I have noticed are different about me as, as based or due to the fact that I grew up in Germany or I have been in Germany for the past 16 years. Whenever I visit Ghana, I realize that I am probably the most law-abiding citizen at that moment. Like, I am more law-abiding than the average Ghanaian. It's wild. Like, I'm always asking, how is this supposed to be done? What and what are the requirements? They'll be like, come on, let's let's just do it. Let's just go. Nobody's going to ask any questions. That is definitely one thing that I've realized that is different about me. I am probably more law abiding because I live in a place where the system works and where they can trace you at any time. In Ghana, who is going to trace? How are they going to trace you? But here, it is easy for them to trace you. Like once they know your address, they know your name, they know the rest about you. To even like send you a subpoena or send you a court letter or whatever or send you a fine. That is one thing. So I'm really conscious about the legal structure wherever I go, the laws of the land wherever I go. One other thing is that I am very frugal compared to my other Ghanaian friends or family. Like I don't spend anyhow. Of course, I have my, my things that take my money like clothes, beauty, hair, you know, those things. But even with that, I'm always looking for a bargain. I'm always, I'm, I, would, I don't mind spending five, five days you know every evening after work to research and compare prices and read exactly what i'm buying is it going to do what i hope it will do i i really take time take my time and make sure i am sure of what i'm buying before i buy because i'm not going to just throw money out and do like my try my quay there's no matter my quay here i i make sure what i'm buying is what i need like i'm not going to waste money compared to my cousins because like when we go to Canada they'll be spending a lot for like drinks and food out and I'm like that won't be me that will never ever be me I love food but that love for food is not going to make me broke nope nope number three is number three is that I'm very very conscious of my actions and their effect on the environment so here you hear umwelt freundlich umwelt freundlich listen I even have metal straws they were a gift, but I used them. I could I could choose not to use the metal straws and still use some of the plastic straws that I have. No, I use my metal straws. I clean them after using. That is how it is. I separate trash. Even when I'm outside, I separate trash. I, I just make sure that whatever I'm doing is environmentally friendly. I ride with public transport a lot, a lot. Not just because I have the six month ticket, but also even where I could drive somewhere and I realized that, oh, the time is the same thing. I'd rather just go with the train and save my um, my money. That's one thing because I've already spent the money on, on the ticket anyways. And two, because I know that I'll be contributing to the environment. Even during Corona time, when Corona first started, I was driving to work, but then I realized that, nah, you don't have to do that. I was driving to course a point when I had to translate and I was like, no, I can still use the train. And most of the time, the trains are empty the time that I am riding on it. And except like rush hour time, it's always full. But now that the school kids are at home and most more people are doing home office, I can you know ride on the trains with with a good with a with a peaceful mind. So yes, I definitely definitely am more environmentally friendly. Like I act more environmentally conscious than before. You can't be in Germany and not be a lover of cars, especially not be in Stuttgart. Stuttgart and not be a lover of cars. Stuttgart is the home of Mercedes-Benz, it's the home of Porsche. So definitely, um, if I have to choose a car, I'll definitely choose a Mercedes or a Porsche. That is what Germany has done to me, or that's what Stuttgart has done to me. VW, Volkswagen, or how we say in English, Volkswagen, Volkswagen, BW, nah, Mercedes for life. I think being in Germany has made me more open to traveling because all those years I was in Ghana, though I was a child, I think the only times we traveled were to Accra, Kuforidia, Cape Coast, Elmina. And Cape Coast, Elmina are just like neighboring cities because I, I grew up in Takrady. So 
I, yeah, but I didn't do much traveling in Ghana. I had never even left the shores of Ghana to anywhere. The first time I traveled out of Ghana was when I was coming to Germany. So I never did, I never did any travel. But once I came to Germany, within the first three months, I was actually in Italy. My first trip out of Germany was Italy. And it was a road trip, went through, I think, I think we went through Austria. No, we went through Switzerland. And, and then after that, you know, school was also taking us on trips. With school, I went to Austria. And then there was Spain also with school. And I developed like my love for traveling just because my parents also wanted us to visit family and I wanted to see other places. I love looking at pictures of other places. And traveling outside of Germany, like traveling from Germany is much easier, you know, especially when you've also naturalized, then things are much easier. You don't need visa for every place except for Ghana. But definitely traveling has been made easier for me from this standpoint. Being in Germany has made me more thankful for things that Ghanaians would term trivial, like, oh, that's nothing. Like, I remember when I went to Ghana once and they were pounding fufu and the banche, like the cassava, the mandioc, it looked so good. And I was just eating it, eating it. I'm like, it's, it's just banche. Oh, I am banche keke. Banche keke for you. For you, it is just banche. For me, it's gold. <laughs> so, because, the, the cassava that comes here is not the same like the one in Ghana where you you know that your auntie grew it in her backyard, you know, and or in her garden or whatever. And it's it's natural, you know, no fertilizer, like, like nothing. It's it's not processed, no, it's just real fresh, pure food. And just going out um on the roadside buying coffee broke man, like Brazil sautain, roasted plantain. All of that once I'm in Ghana I appreciate all of those a lot more than being here um, definitely think going back to Ghana um, or how things have changed with me in relation to Ghana I think being in Germany has made me more self-sufficient and also creative um, like I'm I know how to make my own roasted plantains in the oven I tried it and it worked I know how to you know freestyle certain things to get the achieved desire um, taste or the achieved result that I want it might be different from how Ghanaians do it back home, but here when I'm doing it, you'd be like, hey, what's this? But it works, you know? So I do different things by myself. Like I make my own bodongo. It, it has to, it has to work. I make my own wache. Um, my next project would be Tuozafi TZ. And I'll let you know how that goes, but I am learning how to make things that normally in Ghana, I would have someone do it for me and pay them for it. Like I'll do my own hair now, except braids. That is another topic on its own. But apart from that, everything that I need for myself, I don't have to wait and rely for someone. But immediately I go to Ghana though, I call on someone to help me with it. I don't know, like I, I want to be pampered when I go to, even though I could do it. But then when somebody's doing it for you in Ghana, you are more um, knowledgeable, like you know what you're looking out for, you know how you want things to be done. You just, don't, you just don't sit there and have them do your nails. You just don't sit there and have them do your hair. You know how it's supposed to be done, you know, so. That has definitely helped me a lot. It's another way that Germany has changed me. Being in Germany has taught me to be more open-minded, to be more tolerant, and also know when things are going to um, affect me or take a toll on my life and stop it there. And also, generally, that I don't judge a book by its cover because here you'd see people with tattoos and you'd think that, oh, it means they are bad people or something, but Sometimes they are the sweetest people ever, like the sweetest person ever, the, the funniest person. Some, they, would, they are the generous people. And the person without the tattoos who is doing holier than thou will not even bother when you are in pain. So I would say that I've learned to be to um, tolerant at the same time also upholding my own principles that I have set for myself that these principles are not broken. So there's a difference between being tolerant and also um, throwing your principles to the wall. That is not what is happening here. But at the same time, I welcome everybody and in that strain, um, being in Germany has actually made me be able to encounter all kinds of people. It's broadened my horizons because I'm learning from different cultures. I've worked with people from, um, from Morocco, I've worked with people from, I don't even remember the countries, like basically I've worked with people from Vietnam, I've worked with people from Thailand, I've worked with people, I've had classmates from, from Canada. I, like all over the world. Of course, being in Ghana, I would have met some people. I remember we had like American kids at our school, but 
being in Germany, it's easier for people to come to Germany than for them to go to Ghana. So definitely you meet a lot of people, interact with more cultures than when you are in Ghana. And that has also really enriched my 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 vision or, or like it has really enriched me and enriched my life because of these interactions I've had with these people. Of course I cannot finish this list without saying that being in Germany has tested me in matters of racism and it's still testing me. It's, it's still challenging me. The fact that you just have to think about whether did I get uh, did I get this reaction because of the color of my skin or is this the person's own problem or is the person having just a bad day or am I not getting this thing because I'm not qualified for it or is it because of the color of my skin? The fact that once there is any rejection, you have to consider the color of your skin is something that um, came into my life or started happening once I came to gym because in Ghana, everybody is dark. So I wouldn't even say in Ghana, I, I dealt with that problem. But here, definitely, your surname gives you away. When they see you, it gives you away. And your accent will give you away and unfortunately I have to say that that is definitely one thing that has changed about me since I got to Germany <laughs> being in Germany has made me very very time conscious simply because wherever I need to go if I want to go with the train as I mentioned earlier I know that okay my train leaves at maybe 743 not 45 43 I need 20 minutes to get to the train station so and i need five minutes to walk around the house looking for something you need you know that so i need to leave the house latest by 7 15. whatever i am doing if by 7 15 and the alarm just rings i need to get out of this house it is what it is so being punctual or being time conscious is real it's it's become part and parcel of my life and if that train is coming the next minute and i know normally i'm three minutes away Watch this Naomi Campbell turn to Usain Bolt. I am going to run as if I'm running for my life. So one, it's very time conscious and more punctual because of course you set the time in, in the way you choose the train connection so that you'll be there on time, right? And two, I can catch the train like a pro. Take it, take it. And last but not the least, I eat urban food and it's enough. <laughs> So in the morning, I would, I would have breakfast and then I would have lunch. And no, no, most of the time, my, my lunch is, is a hot meal. In the evening, I just have almond food with some tea and it's also enough. I don't always need warm meal. And that's made me know that, hey, I've arrived, I've become German. There are certain things that I say that make me know that being in Germany has also changed me in terms of my speech. So like, ach so, oh, ach so, or, Gell? Wir essen gleich, gell? Gell? Oh, I don't say hello all the time. I say hello. <laughs> hello? Geht? Hello? Genau, genau, genau. So these are all things that make me know that I've arrived, you know, I've arrived in this Germany. <laughs> Germany has changed me this way. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Let me know how Germany has changed you, whatever country you're in, how you know that this place has changed you. Comment in the comment section below. Like this video, share it to anybody you think would be interested in it. Let the word go out there. And guys, have I said like the video? Subscribe. Subscribe if you like the video as well. There will be more content on my life in Germany, on legal topics in Germany, social topics, everything about life in Germany. We'll be doing vlogs um, pretty soon as well. So let me know what you think. And guys, take good care of yourself, stay healthy, bleib zuversichtlich, bleib gesund und bis zum nächsten Mal. Ade!